Folks, this is going to be an amazing uh, demonstration here because to get this ground rod out of the ground, there really you would have to get a backhoe to do it because it is six feet down. We measured it, we pounded it into the ground this morning for the demonstration. So, uh, will it pull it? Let's give it a shot. We'll see. Well, Matt, what do you think? I think it'll work. Uh, because the bull pull is what it is, but in reality, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> because it, it's been raining, we have some mud, so we don't want the, the tool to be pushed back down in the ground, so we put it on our 2x6. We take our trusty no-slip chain, just rest it on your shoulder. I found that to be the most comfortable. That gives you both hands to work with. I really can't get a lot of push on it at this angle. Because I'm going to let the handle fall down, which you raise the link. Now I can give it a little more push instead of up here. So we raise the, raise the link a little. Now I can really get a good push on it. Give it a couple bounces. Bounces help. You give it a little bounce. And there it is, folks. You know, that's an easy action, no hydraulics necessary. Just let the chain slide down, give it another pull, and away we go. Right. You yeah, know, exactly. You, that's know, just, uh, you were on it. And then once you got it going. The reality is you're going to put some oomph into it right. to move it, but then you're like one hand. Yeah. If it was in the ground 10 feet, the bull pole would still have no problem pulling it. Well, folks, will it pull it? It sure can. Have a good one. We make a proud product uh, to do make a tough job a lot easier for you. We're just proud to be here and introduce this um, demonstration from Greg.